Good time. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself because the party's over. Now, listen here, young lady. I am a grown man, and I will not have someone taking over my life like this. Do you understand that? I won't. Mm, mm, mm. I must have gone further into orbit than I thought. How would you like me to fix dinner for you? Oh, that'd be one. Well, it's the least I can do for the conquering hero. <laughs> Some hero. I didn't even finish the mission. Ah. Uh, well, that really wasn't your fault. Tony? <laughs> Is there someone in your shower? No, of course not. You wouldn't be taking a shower. <laughs> oh, look, goodbye, Liz. Goodbye? Yes. Well, I, I didn't realize how tired I was. Oh, uh, you're a little tired. All right, darling. Of course, I understand. Uh, uh, I tell you what, after I get a little rest, I'll pick you up and we'll go to dinner. <laughs> well, well look, look who's here. I'm looking. Uh, oh, uh, M Melissa, this is, this is Jeannie. Tony. <laughs> I've always prided myself on being tolerant, but... Uh, would you explain to me what is that girl doing here? Uh, well, th that's the explanation. Uh, she's not here. <laughs> what? Uh, well, well, she is here, but of course, uh, she's not a girl. <laughs> Goodbye, Tony. No, 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 no. You, you, you don't understand. Oh, I'm afraid I do understand. <laughs> Tony, I may be tolerant, but... But that's a girl! <laughs> it's a girl! <laughs> What was that one doing here, Master? That one was my fiance. <laughs> Thou art kidding. Now, just a minute, young lady. Melissa happens to be a, a very... black-haired demon. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Look who's talking. <laughs> I can do much more for thee than she can. <laughs> now, now, stop that, Ginny. We don't do that in America. <laughs> I mean, when you're engaged to General Stone's daughter, you don't do that in America. <laughs> Deceived me. I should turn thee into a serpent with two heads. No, no, no. Don't do anything you're gonna feel sorry for. I trusted thee. What manner of master art thou? Oh, gee, I, I appreciate everything you've done for me. Honestly, I do, but well, there's just no room for you in my life. I wish you'd take my shirt off, Jeannie. No, no, I mean, I wish you'd put on your own clothes. Thanks. You're just not Air Force, Jeannie. Ah. I have a career. I, I, I have a fiance. That one. She's made of ice. She could never make thee happy. <laughs> For over 2,000 years, I've been in that bottle. And then... Then this hand released me. Oh, and I saw thy wise face. I cannot tell thee how much happiness thou hast brought to me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Thou must relax. Hey, wait, 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 now stop. Jenny, Jenny, put me down. <laughs> Jenny, stop. <laughs> now, is this not better? Uh, well, <sighs> it beats going into orbit. Now listen, Melissa, there's a few things I want to get straightened out. In the first place, I don't want your ex-boyfriend telling me where I'm going to honeymoon. And, and I, I don't like my best man being picked for me, and I don't like having plans made for my future I when I don't really dick. think it concerns you. What? Oh, thanks, Jeannie. You must be a mind reader. 
Oh, no, no. I cannot read minds, Master. Oh, but I have a friend, Nostradamus, who does a marvelous job. I bet you do. <laughs> you know, I'm going to miss you. You know, you're, uh, you're really very nice. Huh? I mean, take this for instance. I, I didn't even have to ask you for it. And that dinner you made, that was fantastic. Well, of course it was fantastic. <laughs> but it was also delicious. Well, I, I'm pleased that you enjoyed it, Master. Yeah, you're always thinking what I'll like. You'd never send Roger to Australia, would you? You wouldn't make plans for my honeymoon without consulting me, would you? You're expecting Nostradamus or someone? <laughs> well, <laughs> say, oh, it's all right. Come. This is Nelson, flyer through the moons of space. And this is my mother. Oh, how do you do, ma'am? Pleasure. And this is my father. How do you do, sir? Will you excuse us? I uh, think we should go attend to our other guests. <laughs> All right. That's quite a wonderful girl you have there, sir. It is sad. We were such a happy family before the tragedy overtook us. A, a tragedy? When our daughter refused to marry the wicked Jinn, and he turned her into a genie. Oh, yes, that. Well, every family has its little problems. <laughs> Will the wedding be soon, sir? I'd like to see it, but I really ought to be getting back to Cocoa Beach. What is this Cocoa Beach? It's a little town east of Baghdad. <laughs> I wish you would be very happy. Thanks. May Allah bless you. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. <laughs> I must say, your guests are certainly friendly. It is our custom to wish the groom good luck. <laughs> the groom, huh? The groom, huh? Genie? Genie? Well, I'm assigned to a pretty important project. That is because you were the wisest master in the whole world. Listen, I gotta get going. Have a good day, Genie. Are you not going to kiss me goodbye? Now, remember our bargain. This is a purely platonic relationship. Oh, yes, purely platonic. And you agreed to, to keep it on that basis because you knew it was the best way, right? No, I agreed because I did not know what platonic meant. It's another name for friendship. Oh. Uh, um, pals, uh, good buddies. Then uh, what about a friendly kiss goodbye? Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're the best buddy a buddy ever had. <laughs> Jeannie. You are pleased? Pleased? Oh, you're beautiful. I may keep the gown? Is it very expensive? Insanely. <laughs> you may keep the insanely. A and the slippers? And the slippers. And the perfume. And the perfume. <laughs> Thou art all heart. <laughs> you didn't learn that from reading any magazine. You hungry? Famished. What do we have? Champagne. Mm -hmm. Caviar. Mm -hmm. Filet mignon. What? Oriental. Uh, uh, fresh asparagus? Mm-hmm. Uh, baked Alaska? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Napoleon brandy with the coffee? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well? Well, what? Aren't you going to conjure it up? Oh, nay, master. No more of those silly little tricks. From now on, you will do the conjuring with the credit card. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have two filet mignon. Uh, we will have fish. W don't you like steak? Lesson two. You must be independent, self-reliant, unpredictable, without seeming obvious. <laughs> we'll have two filet of sole. May I suggest a white wine with the fish? A nice Chablis. Yes, yes, that'll be fine. 
Oh, I will have champagne. Lesson number three. No, five. An expensive woman is a popular woman. Champagne, please. Very good. Uh, Jeannie, I think it's very nice that you, you want to learn more about modern American women, but uh, a little knowledge can be a dangerous thing. Do you realize, Master, that this is the first time you have ever taken me out? I want it to be a memorable occasion. Oh, I'll remember it, all right. I'll remember how beautiful you look. <laughs> well, that is because I'm having such a wonderful time. <clears throat> Good. I have not enjoyed myself so much since the night my master, the Sultan Harun el Rashid, entertained the great Marco Polo. You really met Marco Polo? Oh, indeed, yes. We used to hunt wild boar together. What was he like? Oh, he was a wild boar. <laughs> Are you sure you needed these? Mm -hmm. This is not going to work this time. Jeannie, <laughs> 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 I don't smoke, and I certainly wouldn't smoke a hookah if I did. <laughs> I am sorry, Master. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I've decided to do? Uh, I've decided to bring you all the treasures of the world. Uh, we are going to start with the buried gold of the Incas. No. The rubies of the Rajas? No. The diamonds of the... No. Well, where would you like to start? I'd like to start with getting rid of all of this. Oh, but I thought you would enjoy it. Now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that... This one, too. I'm terribly sorry, miss. It was very nice. <laughs> oh, that's better. Oh, Jeannie, I'm really... Now the hammock. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Master, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Forget it. It's, it's okay. Oh, I do not know what to do. I, I cannot seem to please you. Your mind is made up, then? Yes, yes, it is. I will miss you, Master. I'll miss you, too. I am yours until midnight. I, I would like to do something for you. Uh, no, nothing, thank you. Oh, please, it will make me so happy. No, really. I want you to look nice for Miss Galaxy. Oh, well, thank you very much, Jeannie. Oh, thank you very much. Would you like me to build you a wonderful restaurant to take her to? No, no, that won't be necessary, Jeannie. Uh, Tokyo House will be fine. Well, I, I... I guess there's nothing else I can do for you. Well, I better be getting along. Will you be here when I get back? If you return before midnight. Jeannie. <clears throat> uh, yes? I, uh, I just wanted to thank you for everything. Oh. Would you kiss me goodbye? Oh, sure. I want to talk to you. Silence! You have no claim on her. You are not her master any longer. Then I demand the right to ask for her hand in marriage. Marriage? But, but Master, you, you said that... I know what I said, Jeannie, and I must have been out of my mind. I can't live without you. I love you, and I want you to be my wife. <laughs> master. Oh, Master. Do you, Anthony Nelson, take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. I do. <laughs> care for her in sickness and in health, adversity and prosperity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for her as long as you live? I do. Do you, Jeannie, take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do.
Do you promise to be a true and faithful wife? To care for him in sickness and in health, prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only for him as long as you live? Oh, yes, I do. You may place the ring on her finger. Then, by the power vested in me by the laws of this state, I now pronounce you man and wife. Oh. <laughs> you may kiss the bride. 